Tarsi is a fascinating creatures, and their unique features make them an interesting subject of study for primatologists and researchers interested in understanding primate evolution and behavior. Several Tarsier species are currently listed as threatened or endangered due to habitat loss and fragmentation caused by deforestation and human development. Conservation efforts are underway to protect these unique primates and their habitats. Tarsiers are native to Southeast Asia, including the Philippines, Borneo, and Sumatra. They inhabit various types of forested habitats, from tropical rainforests to secondary forests. Tarsiers typically have soft fur that ranges in color from gray to brown, depending on the species. Their fur helps them blend into the natural forested habitats. Some tarsia species may have variations in fur coloration, such as patches of white or other shades. Tarsiers have a unique physical build characterized by their large eyes and long fingers. Their large eyes are adapted for excellent night vision, and their long fingers and toes aid in gripping tree branches. Tarsiers also have elongated hind limbs that make them skilled jumpers. The size of tarsiers varies depending on the species. On average, tarsiers measure between 9 to 15 centimeters in body length, excluding their long tail. Their tails can be as long as or even longer than their body. The smallest tarsier species are the pygmy tarsiers, which are among the smallest primates in the world. Tarsiers are lightweight animals due to their small size and specialized adaptations for tree-dwelling life. Depending on the species, tarsiers can weigh anywhere from 56 to 170 grams. Again, the pygmy tarsier is the smallest and lightest of all tarsier species. Tarsiers are primarily nocturnal, which means they are most active during the night. Their large eyes are well adapted for low light conditions, allowing them to see and hunt for insects in the dark. Tarsiers are typically solitary animals. Each individual has its own territory, and they do not form large social groups. This solitary behavior helps reduce competition for resources in their forested habitats. Tarsiers are known for defending their territories vigorously. They use vocalizations and scent marking to establish and protect their home ranges. Loud calls are often used to deter other tarsiers from entering their territory. Tarsiers are agile and skilled jumpers. They can leap from tree to tree with ease, covering relatively large distances in search of prey or to evade predators. They engage in grooming behavior to maintain their fur and hygiene. They use their long fingers and toes to groom themselves and remove debris from their fur. Tarsiers are perfectly adapted to their tree-dwelling lifestyle. Their long fingers and toes have specialized pads that help them grip onto tree branches securely. Their long tail aids in balance and stability while moving through the trees. Tarsiers are known for their ability to conserve energy when not actively hunting or moving. They can sit quietly on tree branches for extended periods, waiting for potential prey to come within striking distance. Tarsiers are known for their loud, distinctive calls, which are often used for territorial defense. These calls are intended to deter other tarsiers from entering their territory. They can be quite loud and are usually made by adult males. These calls may include sharp chirps or piercing whistles. Tarsiers use soft, quiet contact calls to maintain communication with other tarsiers within their home range. These calls are less intense and aggressive than the loud territorial calls and serve to keep individuals aware of each other's presence. These calls help prevent accidental encounters that could lead to aggression. When tarsiers feel threatened or are in distress, they can emit distress calls. These calls can vary in intensity and may alert nearby tarsiers to potential danger. During the breeding season, tarsiers may produce specific mating calls to attract potential mates. These calls can be part of courtship behavior and are used to communicate readiness for reproduction. 
Mother tarsiers and their infants engage in a form of communication to stay in contact while the infant is being carried. This communication may involve soft, gentle sounds to reassure the infant and maintain the bond between mother and offspring. Tarsier infants may produce high-pitched calls when they are hungry or in need of attention from their mothers. These calls can be used to signal their needs and solicit maternal care. While hunting for insects and other prey, tarsiers may produce subtle vocalizations or clicking sounds. These sounds may be used to coordinate with other tarsiers or to signal their presence to potential prey. Insects make up the majority of a tarsier's diet. They are skilled hunters and use their sharp teeth and strong jaws to catch a wide variety of insects. Common insect prey includes grasshoppers, crickets, moths, beetles, and other small invertebrates. Tarsiers are agile and adept at leaping from branch to branch to catch flying or jumping insects. In addition to insects, tarsiers may also consume small vertebrates such as birds, small mammals, and small reptiles. They are capable of capturing and consuming these animals when the opportunity arises. However, such prey items are less common in their diet compared to insects. While tarsiers are primarily carnivorous, they may occasionally consume small amounts of plant material. This can include fruits, leaves, and flowers. However, plant material is a relatively minor component of their diet and is usually consumed opportunistically. Some tarsier species are known to feed on tree gum or sap. They use their long fingers and sharp teeth to extract this sticky substance from tree bark. Tree gum and sap provide a source of energy and nutrients. Tarsiers typically have specific breeding seasons, although the timing can vary between species and locations. In some tarsier species, breeding may occur during certain times of the year when environmental conditions are favorable, such as when there is an abundance of food. Tarsiers are generally not monogamous. Males and females do not form long-term pair bonds. Instead, they are typically solitary animals and come together for mating during the breeding season. After mating, they go their separate ways. Courtship behavior in tarsiers can involve vocalizations and physical interactions between males and females. Males may use mating calls and display behaviors to attract females. Courtship can be relatively brief compared to the overall breeding cycle. After successful mating, female tarsiers have a gestation period that lasts for several months, depending on the species. This period can vary but is typically around six months. Female tarsiers give birth to a single offspring, although twins are known to occur occasionally in some species. The newborn tarsier is typically highly undeveloped, with its eyes closed and minimal fur. The mother is responsible for caring for and nursing the infant. The mother tarsia carries her infant clutch to her chest, using her mouth to transfer it between branches while she forages for food. She will provide milk for the young tarsia until it is old enough to start eating solid food. Tarsia infants develop relatively slowly. They gradually become more independent and start to explore their surroundings and learn to hunt for prey as they grow. The timing of weaning and full independence can vary depending on the species and environmental conditions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget like and comment. Feel free to share.